Praise the Lord. Peace and greetings to you all once again in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. My name is Clinton. By the grace of God, I am a Christian, and this is the Word Prophet Channel, a Christian ministry dedicated to the purpose of teaching the Word of God to the people in the churches of God so that we can go back to serving God in spirit and in truth, because that's what God commanded. You see, Jesus said, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And that's why I'm here, and I hope that's why you're here with me. You may or may not be here because of the title of the video, whatever is the case. I'm glad you're here, and I want to talk to you about something very briefly and something very important. Among the, the, the professing Christians today in the realm of Christendom, there are basically two camps, except for those that are genuinely Christians. There are two camps. There are those that believe in a trinity, and then there are those on the other side of the street that believe in the, the oneness of God doctrine, the Pentecostals. And they both actually teach the same doctrine, except they don't really understand that. So the fact of the matter is, according to the title of this video, that oneness Pentecostals believe and teach that Mary is the mother of God. They, te they believe and teach that Mary, the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, is actually the mother of God. Now, a lot of oneness Pentecostals will probably deny that fact, and, 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 and some of you who are oneness Pentecostals may not even understand that right now, but you will in a couple of minutes if you pay attention. So that's the undeniable fact. You see, oneness Pentecostals have a doctrine that's called the oneness of God, and the oneness of God doctrine is the exact same lie as the Trinity doctrine except it's just called by different terms. Instead of three persons, like over on this side of the street, the Trinitarians believe that God is three persons. Over on this side of the street, the Oneness Pentecostals believe that God has three modes, which is why the doctrine that they believe is called modalism. That's what Oneness Pentecostalism is. That's the Oneness of God doctrine. It's called modalism. And it's a teaching that basically teaches that God is, and this is how they say it, God is the Father in creation, the Son in redemption, and the Spirit in sanctification, which is the same doctrine as the Trinity doctrine, and neither one of those doctrines are found in the Bible anywhere. So the oneness of God people, they don't believe that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is a deity called God the Son, like the people on that side of the street, the Trinitarians. The oneness of God people believe that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, isn't actually the Son of God, that he is really his own Father, and that the body that Jesus walked around in isn't really a person, it's just a body. That he isn't really the Son of God, that he's just a body. Because they twist around the scripture where it says in Hebrews, a body hast thou prepared for me. And they pretend that there's no one in that body, and that it is only animated by God. And so they believe that Jesus, when he was born, was God. You see? They believe that Jesus, when he was born, was fully God, and fully man, which is the same lie that the Trinitarians believe. See, but Jesus Christ, the Son of God, isn't fully God and fully man. He is a man in whom is the Spirit of God. And he was anointed with the Spirit of God when he was 30 years old. But when he was born, he wasn't God. He was a man. Let's read it in the scripture. I have my Bible open to, to Matthew chapter 1, and it says in verses 20 and 21, But while he thought on these things... Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. So you see, Jesus, the Son of God, is called Jesus because that's his Father's name. That's why he said, I am come in my Father's name. And this is why the scripture says that he obtained a more excellent name than the angels by inheritance. You see, because he inherited his name from his father, as any son rightly would. Jesus is a name that means Jehovah the Savior. And the reason that the Son of God is called Jesus is because that's his father's name. So he's called by his father's name. He is the Son of God. And when he was 30 years old, he went down to the Jordan River and was anointed with the Spirit of God. That's why he's called the Christ, because it means the Anointed One. You see? So Jesus Christ is the Son of God. When he was born, he was not God. He was a baby. The Bible says, unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. You see? So the Son of God was born of Mary. But God was not born. 
And you have these two religious camps on either side of the street that are just like the Pharisees and Sadducees that have always been wrong and always been arguing with each other. So you have these people over here that believe that God became a man, the Trinitarians. They believe that God the Son is an actual real God that exists when it isn't. And they believe that this deity called God the Son came in the flesh and became a man. Well, that's a lie. And over here on this side of the street, you have the Oneness Pentecostals who believe that Jesus, the Son of God, isn't really the Son of God, that he's just a body, and that God the Father was born of a woman, a virgin, and when Jesus was born, that he was God, fully God and fully man, and that the Son of God really isn't the Son of God. The, the, the Oneness Pentecostals deny the fact that Jesus Christ is the Son of God because they say that he is the Father. You see, but Jesus Christ prayed to his Father. He didn't pray to himself. He prayed to his Father. He called his Father the only true God. You see, he said many times, My Father, my God, my Father. That's how he addressed God. You see, Jesus has a God. His God is his Father, you see, which is also my God and my Father. But the oneness Pentecostals don't believe what the Bible says about Jesus Christ. They've been indoctrinated in their religious denomination instead, which is the case with most people that profess to be Christians. What most people who profess to be Christians believe is what they have heard in church by going to church. Whatever denomination that they belong to, that's what they believe. The, the only parts of the scripture that they know are the parts that their pastor has quoted from the Bible in the midst of his sermons where he is teaching them lies. The Trinity doctrine on this side of the street and the oneness of God doctrine on this side of the street. And both the Trinitarians and the, the oneness Pentecostals believe that God became a man. And that's a lie because God is a spirit. God isn't a man. God has never become a man. And he will never be a man. See, a man is flesh. God is a spirit. This is what Jesus said. Do you want to be a Christian? Then you need to believe what Jesus said because he is the Christ. If you want to be a Christian, you have to follow the Christ. You have to believe his words. You see? And you get to believe his words. Praise the Lord. You see? So Trinitarians and one is Pentecostals, they both share the same lying doctrine that God supposedly became a man. And so they both believe that Mary is the mother of God. Because they both believe that Mary, the wife of Joseph, gave birth to God. And that is a ridiculous fairy tale that has absolutely nothing to do with anything that's written in the scripture. You see, God doesn't have a mother. God was never born. God never died. And God was never risen from the dead. But the Son of God, Jesus Christ our Lord, the son of Mary and his stepfather Joseph, who was really in reality the son of David because Mary was the wife of Joseph when she conceived and Joseph was, was of the house and lineage of David. So Jesus Christ our Lord is of the lineage of David and of Abraham, but he is the son of God. You see, he is not God from the womb. He is called God and rightly so because God is in him because when he was 30 years old, he was anointed by the Holy Ghost. That's what the Bible teaches. So the, the Trinitarians and the Oneness Pentecostals, they believe that Mary is the mother of God. And what does that make them there for? It makes them daughters of their mother, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He that hath an ear to hear, let him hear.